Welcome to iLecture Online. Looking at our next example, I realized we needed one more rule on the board. It's right over here. If you have a fraction that's raised to a negative exponent, like negative 1 like that, that is the same as simply taking the inverse of that fraction. So a over b raised to negative 1 power is the same as b over a. So the reason I added that rule is when I look at my example here, I have a whole thing right here in parentheses raised to negative 1 power, which means I can simply turn that expression around and write it as a to the minus 1 quarter, a to the 5 over 6, divided by 49c to the 5 thirds power, and simply then remove the negative 1 exponent. Next, I can combine what's inside the numerator, or what's not inside, but what's in the numerator. And notice that we have the base is the same. We can simply add the exponents. So this becomes equal to a to the minus 1 fourth, plus 5 over 6. All right, a little bit better like that. And divide that by 49c to the 5 thirds power. Now, how do we add negative 1 fourth plus 5 6? Let's do that on the side over here. Negative 1 fourth plus 5 over 6. So the common denominator is 12, which means this can be written as minus 3 over 12 and plus 10 over 12. Notice when I divide the denominator by 3, I get 4. I divide the numerator by 3, I get 1. Divide the denominator by 2, I get 6. Divide the numerator by 2, I get 5. So that's the equivalent. Now I can add those together. This is equal to 7 divided by 12. But in other words, the exponents, minus a fourth plus 5, 6, can be written as 7 twelfths. So this is equal to a to the 7 twelfths divided by 49 c to the 5 over 3. And that would be the answer, or the final form of the answer, for that particular expression.